YouTube, today we're going to be looking at the Comica CVM-GM-C1 3.5mm microphone input gooseneck line in. It's a cardioid, which means shotgun. Now, as you've noticed from some of the other microphones we've been sent, a lot of them claim to be cardioid. Only one of them actually was a cardioid. The rest of them were omnidirectional. Um, so this is the packaging it comes in. It's really, really small. Real, it's pencil. Uh, one, two, three. It's three pencils stacked on top of each other. So it will drain your. It's. It's. I believe it is plug-in power. So it, it takes from whatever camera you have it plugged in to the battery. So you have to make sure it has phantom power or plug-in power of some sort in order to get this to work. I will be testing it on my Canon Rebel T5i. This is supposed to also. You could use this with with some cell phones. Some cell phones will also require a TRS to TRRS cable, which I luckily do have. I'm not going to test it on a cell phone, um, but I will admit, if it muffles a little bit, I'm using the shotgun microphone on the FS100U. Uh, I will admit, though, that some mics that are made for cameras like this, here's what it looks like. You've seen this, like the interview ones that you see on the news when they're interviewing someone at like a college or something. They use these. Um, it does bend. It does have a metal lining. But like I said, be very, very, very careful with these. Do not bend them too much. Or at least, I would say, do not bend them as much as you would like to. And the T5i is turned on. Is it detecting the mic? It is detecting the mic. One thing I have noticed is that the microphone is mono. So if your camera settings do not have a stereo conversion where you can take the, the left signal or the right signal and morph it into a stereo signal, you'll only get one ear when you plug in a headset. So you're going to have to change that in your editor, iMovie or Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are. It is showing up. I have the recording level set to manual and the level is one tick to mute. And that means you're going to get the clearest signal possible, but it's going to be really soft. So I will increase it later on. And I'm going to start switching to the gooseneck right now. Okay, everyone on YouTube, I am now using the Comica gooseneck microphone, um, switching out from the shotgun that's on the Sony FS100U. And it's aimed directly, like, right at my mouth, where my mouth would be at, below me. Uh, usually, these types of microphones will be at this angle. They'll be really close, though. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. Now I'm directly above the microphone. Directly above it, my lips are almost touching it. Uh, and usually, this is where it would be when you're in, at a college and you're listening to a speaker speak. They have it, like, right there, about three or four inches away from their face. Now I'm getting right there on the microphone. I'm talking directly into it. Please take out your headphones. And now I'm going to be backing up. I just want to see how sensitive it is. Uh, from where it is right now. Now I'm about a ruler's length, 12 inches away. I'm going to bend it just a slight bit. That way it's aimed directly at me. And I'm going to do a left side because, like I said, I don't know where the microphone pod is at. It could be directly up like most of these are. Some of them have them on the side, and somehow they're able to bend the signal. Now I'm on the left side of it. I'm on the left side of the microphone talking, trying to figure out how sensitive where the microphone placement is on the gooseneck. Now I'm directly above it. It's aiming right here at, like, between my breasts. It's aiming. That's where it is right now. I don't know how sensitive this is going to be. Very curious to find out. Um, I'm going to review some of the video and get, get back on my thoughts. I want to know your thoughts of it. While I'm reviewing the video, tell me your thoughts in the comments. And hit that subscribe button and share because sharing is caring, everyone. Okay, I am back. I just re-listened to some of the audio. I will say something good about this is that it's one of those microphones that you have to be... Actually, uh, I'm going to actually start recording with it right now. I have to do that to sync it up. Okay, this is where you actually want it to be. I don't know if you can see it, but here it is. The mic is right here. This is where you want it to be. You want it to be right there in front of your lips, and you want to have it angled to where your your the wind from your mouth when you say um, puh 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 puke your peas your your poops your book where the wind comes out of your mouth the air the wind what is the same damn thing the air that comes out of your mouth does not directly hit this because as you heard in the test audio um, you get the 
it really like messes up the it, it distorts the audio. So you want right here. You want to be as close as possible, just like they are at colleges. You might want to get a different wind muff for this, something more thick. And there's also some people that that recommend putting tape around the whole thing except where the microphone pod is. And some of them put it on the microphone pod but poke a little pencil hole into it. I don't know why I keep looking at the damn screen. I'm supposed to be looking at the lens. Poke a little uh, hole into right where the pod is so just enough of it gets in to, to stop the the porn book pussy. But anyway, no. Um, yeah, it, this is the optimal place where you would want it. And I think since – there we go. I'm still getting the poofs and pups and porns and stuff like that because uh, I I'm my I keep forgetting that my lips are like diagonal. So you got to keep that in mind. Keep your lips slightly above. My computer has a virus. Uh, keep your lips slightly above this so that 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 does not happen. The microphone audio when it's like this is great. It sounds like a shotgun microphone, a cardioid microphone, a blue yeti. But when you get farther away, it still sounds better than your built-in camera microphone. Does it sound better than the shotgun microphone? Who knows? The shotgun microphone that that I'm playing now, switch over to the, the shotgun microphone on the Sony FS100U, works really well when you're when you're closer to it. Not as close as you have to be for this, but usually the Sony FS100U has to be like this far away, and then it sounds like a movie uh, microphone. But yeah, switch back to the gooseneck. Um, I'm very impressed with this gooseneck. It is $39.99 on Amazon as of right now. Thank you, the sponsors, for sending this to us it is a really good microphone um it's great for colleges and, and and they actually advertise this as going on to a wireless mic i believe receiver i don't remember which one's the transmitter which one's the receiver um but yeah they recommend it on that it's just i don't really see it working on i mean because you got to put it, the pack on your belt or in a shirt it i don't know why it, i recommend it more for an external recorder like a zoom microphone and you just lay the zoom down there you have your speaker come up on the podium speak to the college and have it recording uh 